Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 18th of 2024 is titled North Celestial Aurora. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see the image of the sky taken looking toward the North Celestial Pole. Now, normally when you look out at the sky, it's very difficult to see where the pole is. If you happen to be able to identify Polaris, the North Star, it, it is very close to the North Celestial Pole. But just looking at the sky, it can be very difficult if you're not familiar with the constellations. However, in an image like this, which is an extended exposure and shows the star trails, we can see very clearly where the pole star is. The pole is that pivot point at the center here, and everything seems to rotate around that. So you'll see that stars very close to the pole make very small arcs, and that stars farther away will make much larger arcs, but they all make circles around the pole. And this leads to what we call circumpolar stars. Those are the stars where their circular paths do not intersect the horizon. And they are the stars that are always visible from a given location. So you can see those stars here as you get farther and farther away. At some point, eventually, those arcs start to cross the horizon. And those are stars that would then rise and set from this location in New York in the United States. Now, how many circumpolar constellations you see would depend on where you're located. The closer you are to the North Pole of Earth, the higher the North Celestial Pole is in the sky, and the more that you would see, the more circumpolar constellations you would see. The closer you are to the equator, the fewer you would see. And the same would be very true of the South Celestial Pole. Now, as we look through the image here, we can also see our moon off to the left. And of course, it is blurred out and overexposed because of the longer exposure. But we can see the distinct brightness of the moon there, which actually would have been a crescent moon phase. So a very thin moon, whereas a full moon would have overly brightened everything. And we can also see prominently here the aurora down toward the lower section of the image. And we can see both the green and pink glows associated with the excitation of gases in Earth's upper atmosphere. Now, as we've seen many of these recently, these are caused by charged particles from our sun and excess particles are emitted when the sun is more active. And we recently had a very strong sunspot group cross the face of the sun. And that gave us very intense aurora that were visible at many different latitudes, not just the far northerly or southerly latitudes at which they are normally visible. So latitudes farther north, such as here in New York, got to see the aurora. But even farther south, we saw images from the southern portion of the United States as well, also showing the aurora that were visible. So here we get to see that aurora along with an image of the uh, sky showing the star trails, which really show us the rotation of the Earth reflected in the apparent motions of the sky. So that was our picture of the day for May 18th of 2024. It was titled North Celestial Aurora. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.